start of London Fashion Week at the Fashion Scout, about to watch the latest collection of the Ramir show. Very excited because February of this year we did see their latest collection and it was amazing. Chunky knits, we saw lots of different colours in there, so I'm quite excited to see how Ramir has actually grown and uh, where she's taken her inspiration for this latest collection. So here we are again. I'm so excited because this is my second show of yours. And I came back in February, wasn't it? Exactly, yes. exactly. And it was amazing then. I have to say it's even more amazing now. How do you feel about it? I feel very happy and relaxed because it's all over now with this uh, time, which is obviously very important for me to be, to be, on, to, to be perfect. You yeah, have no, no chance to, to miss something or to lose opportunity to, to show in the right way. You just have one chance. And that's all. And this one chance, I hope I could bring this message that I wanted to bring. Okay, only you can see because I'm backstage. I look at the girls and what 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 they're wearing, how they're coming out. So I just hope I could. Do it. All of the pieces were fantastic. Absolutely, I have to say you look amazing now as well. All of your pieces, though, I loved the, the color. I mean, you first started with lots of yellows. Where was the inspiration from that? Um, Dali was very much actually the sun, of course. This vision of the sunshine, of of fire, of uh, of a womanly side of ladies it was very important. And I wanted to bring this message, you know, I wanted to bring this beautiful message of, of Dali to my clients, to my audience today, because uh, it's very difficult to, to let understand people what the designer wants to make. If you just call this Dali or Picasso, everybody will expect, okay, she will come with Picasso, then she will come with this white birds and Dali must be probably with uh, only red, red leaves, but it was with purpose I uh, reduced the really obviously things of a uh, lobster hat. I had it backstage and the last one that I just put it away, so oh, I didn't show really? the lobster hat, but it was another lobster hat, which is the form of this hat. Wow. And all this, you just see it when the girls are wearing, when they're preparing for the catwalk, you understand, so this you need to cut, you need to make less, um, the people need to think, because Fashion is for me also the possibility to make it in a perfect way, just a moment of, of going into your style, into yourself as a woman. But uh, we had also very surprisingly um, a man. I found uh, a second Amanda Lear, which was inspiring for us, Dali. I found um, a man. Who, uh, it was he looked like a man, like a woman in the show. I don't know if you've seen him. Yes. But. Um, it was something, not about the message that I want to address my, my ladies like, uh, you know, like men want to uh, change to, to, to women. No, no, no. It's just because it was really this um, impact, you know, this, uh, this feeling and this close relationship to the daily work. Because he was really obsessed about special, surrealistic things, over normal, metaphysical, and this is what I want to bring. As well. And all your pieces were so striking that they had the flecks of gold in there as well, didn't they? Yes. And all the extra detail, I mean the dresses were so figure-hugging, but then they had the feminine detail with the arms and the, the, the back was, was empty, you know, clear, and it was just beautiful. I wanted to play with, um, with things which are... Uh Playing with with, um, with uh, changing the woman's uh, the woman's body to another shape, maybe a little bit less. Um, we wanted to 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 hide things mm -hmm. and to bring the best things to hide things which we want. We, we women already want want to hide some sometimes, yeah. and that's what I want to play with fabrics, to play with colors, to play with shades mm -hmm. and shadows. So it was very important. This, um, uh, this creative message and I hope you've got it, you've felt it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it, is, it seemed a lot more sophisticated than last time, because last time was the chunky knits and things like that and this time we saw... Do you believe that designer is growing or sometimes it could be, uh, you know, like a, like a, a bad collection, good collection, I think? No, I, th I think it's just a different 
style, different inspiration style is what I mean. I think it's technical, very important technical support. If you are growing as a designer, you have a better impression to the audience. And I think this collection was very, very strong in forms of, of technical impact. Mm -hmm. And this, what I could make, and I would, I hope I brought this message also yeah. to, to people. I think technically, it was perfectly, uh, perfectly well fit. I hope mm -hmm. because in my eyes it was, but then it is of course up to the clients. They will fit it in the shop. Uh, the girls will um, uh, borrow the pieces for the magazines. We will see how it comes in the press, mm -hmm. and this is always very important moment. So I just have now. This is like a. Yeah, experiment. We hope it will be good, but we never know. Well, it certainly looked very good. And uh, I've heard a little bit that you're expanding into America as well. Is that right? It is right, and it is the whole world is not enough. So I hope the American lady has a little bit place in their wardrobes for my dresses. So sure. we push a little bit the other yeah. dresses <laughs> to find place for Romeo skirts and clothes yeah. tops. Brilliant. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank and what you do we expect coming. to see for the next one? Mm. Oh, the next collection will be a big surprise. Really? Yes. Exciting. Please stay with us. Yes, we will do. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you very much. <laughs>